Even gods need a way to pass the time. After all, they have an eternity to while away. But they have grown bored of the same old games. It was time for something new. And that's how it all began. As a simple game of cards. These cards were land, upon which you would build settlements for your followers, placing trees and stone for them to craft the tools they would need. Fill the oceans with fish, so that your followers can grow strong. Defend your shrine. Answer the prayers of your followers. Save these doomed isles. And you shall prove yourself a worthy victor. And so the gods drew their cards, and the game began. Would any of them rise above their adversaries and take their place at the head of the Pantheon? Not if I can help it. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to These Doomed Isles, the demo. Okay, welcome to these doomed isles. Your goal is to build up your settlement and answer the prayers of your followers. Do this before you're overwhelmed by invaders or abandoned by your followers and eventually you will reign victorious, ascending the pantheon of gods. You lose followers through starvation or if their happiness is too low. If you have no followers you and your shrine is destroyed, you lose the game. You can move the camera by using the WASD keys, hold shift to move faster, or by clicking and dragging with the right mouse button. Try that now. Okay. You can recenter the camera on your shrine by pressing M or clicking the mouse wheel. Okay. You can zoom out. All right. Got it. Okay, these are your cards. You can use these to place buildings, perform miracles, and expand your settlement. Okay. I'm getting it now. This is a forest card which allows you to add trees to your island. Okay, this... Oh, oh. This number shows that this card can be played four times before it is removed from your deck. This icon shows the shape this card will be when placed on the island. Oh, there it is, the L shape. Okay, the arrows around the icon indicate that this tile will be able to be rotated and flipped. Okay, click on the forest card now to select it. An L-shaped, okay. Interesting. It's fun. If you ever change your mind, you can click right click to add a card back to your deck. Try that now. Okay. Let's select the forest card again. We'll place it for real this time. Try rotating Q and E. Click the middle mouse button to flip it. F. Okay, gotcha. Click to place it when you're happy. I am happy here. Okay, these are the resources that are used to play your cards and buy more of them to add to your deck. The resources required for a card to be used can be seen here. Yeah, up here. Five gold, four wood, four wood. Okay. Let's build this lumberjack's house near these trees so you can start gathering wood. Note that this card can only be played once before being removed from your deck. Okay, put them here. Now you need some workers to actually chop down those trees. This icon shows that you have four followers up here, but you can't deploy them as workers until they have somewhere to live, of course. So let's build a cabin. Sure, put them here. Great job, now you can see that you have two workers available. Okay, workers available, population. To put them to work, you can click on the workers icon in the above resource bar. You can also click on the individual building to assign workers or find more information about them. Okay. 
workers. Ah, gotcha. Ooh, look at that. I like the art in this. Okay, you will gain new followers at the start of each year. Some miracle cards and buildings can also gain you followers. You still have two homeless followers. Homelessness and unemployment can cause unhappiness, which can cause followers to abandon you. Let's build another cabin so all of your followers have a roof over their heads. Of course. When you play a card that can be played multiple times, it is added to your discard pile. Click on the discard pile icon now. Right here. Okay. You also have a draw pile, which is made up of cards you have yet to draw. Click on the draw pile now. Ah. Okay. So this is what I have in my hand. When you draw, pile is empty. All discarded cards are shuffled and made ready to be drawn again. You can use this button to spend faith, discard any remaining cards in your hand, and draw up to five more. Spend faith. Okay. Followers eat food each turn, which can be gathered in a number of ways. This forger building will allow workers to gather food if placed near forest tiles. Try building that now. Sure. Here, I guess. As you already had workers available, they have automatically been deployed to your new building. Okay. This tavern can be used to gain happiness per turn. If happiness is too low, followers will abandon your settlement and you will lose if you have no followers. Okay. Let's build, I guess we'll build a tavern. The most important resource is gold. Is this happiness? This might be happiness, I don't know, but this is gold. This is definitely gold, which can be gained in a number of ways. Gold is used to buy new cards and also used by some buildings and powers. Build the panning hut near the water, start gaining more gold per turn. Each worker buys plus three gold per turn if at least one water tile is in a range. Ooh. Well, the best place to put it would be here, right? Because there's more tiles, yes. Neither your tavern nor your panning hut have any workers. Click on the worker icon to quickly redeploy your available workers. Okay. There we go. Stone and iron are required to build more advanced buildings. You will be able to harvest and refine those resources as you progress through the game, but they are not required to complete this tutorial. You can click here to end your turn and advance to the next season. This is the point at which you will gain or lose any resources as indicated on the resource bar at the top of the screen. Oh, I'm going to lose. Okay. So it preemptively tells me what I'm going to lose next turn. So I'm going to lose two food, gain three coin. I wish hovering over these things lets me, you know, shows me a small insert of what it is. But that's fine. Oh, no, that's just faith. This is faith. So what is happiness on this bar? Either way, let's go ahead and harvest. Harvesting cards. Once per year, you will be taken to this harvest screen at the end of your turn. This is where you add new cards to your deck. Click on all of the cards that you're offered. All right. Big land, crossbow tower, cabin, and meteor storm. Interesting. Click here to draw more cards to buy. When you're ready, exit the harvest screen to continue with the tutorial. Okay, so I can buy. Okay, it'll give me more cards to buy. Let's just go ahead and buy all of that. <laughs> Waste all my money. <laughs> all right, autumn year one. Ooh, the trees have, uh, have changed colors. And so has the land. That's pretty cool. Continue playing the game now and place land to try and connect to any nearby islands. Okay. Oh. When you connect to a new island, you will gain random resources and trigger an event. The earlier in the game you connect to an island, the more likely it is that the event will be helpful. The more you expand your island, the more risky the events will become. Okay. Well done, you really did a great job of connecting up to that island. Now you can go ahead and select one of the rewards below. Oh, focus on food, focus on happiness. Uh, let's focus on food, because I, I don't know how to get food yet. Oh, no, wait, we have the forager, never mind. 
Uh, now you have obtained a relic. You can click on your shrine to view all relics, curses, and modifiers that are currently in play. Relics. Harvest Festival. Gain two food per follower whenever you build a farm, windmill, or bakery. Okay. And I am not cursed. That's good. To reign victorious, you must do more than simply expand your settlement. In two more turns, you will be attacked and must repel the invaders, but we'll make sure you're ready. Continue playing until your enemy appears. Okay. Well. Get some more gold. We find a good place right here. This was a, this was good. Let's put it there. Go get a cabin. There we go. Um, let's check the workers. No one's working on that panning hut. That's fine. Can I click on the specific workers? I cannot. Okay, let's end turn. Ooh, it's winter now. A tree has been felled by your lumberjack. Plus one flowers next turn. Gold reserves low. Oh dear. Spring. Okay, here they come. Now either build your crossbow tower in range and add enough workers or use your meteor power to defeat them. I don't have a crossbow tower, but I have a meteor storm. <laughs> And I'm going to use that on them. Okay, so even the meteor storm has a has a way of placing it as well. Interesting. Well, invaders, feel the wrath of Krista von Hul. Nice. While that wasn't so bad, keep in mind that enemy attacks get stronger and more dangerous as you progress further in the game of course now you've defeated those enemies you're one and three on your way to victory as you can see by the meter here you have three prayers or objectives that must be completed to beat a level click here now to see what they are oh there we go so we have defend defeat one wave of enemies did that understand and complete the tutorial going to do that and then finally survive for four more turns easy stuff all right you'll normally be able to add a powerful card to your deck as a reward when you complete a prayer but that's disabled for this tutorial okay you may have also seen that prayers have a time limit on them when this expires you will gain a curse which can neg negatively affect your settlement on harder levels this time limit will reset so a single prayer can add multiple curses oh boy and that's it for the tutorial. After you click away, you will have completed your second prayer, and then all that's left is to survive four more turns. If you need more help, right-click on any of the resource icons at any time for more detail. Oh, there we go. That's a little helpful. It's showing me what they mean. Good, good, good. That's happiness. That is a weird symbol for happiness, but I'm going to trust it. We have one extra worker. They can do panning now. Let's end the turn. Now we're in summer. Here's the crossbow tower. Put it right there. Put some more land. Might as well just expand the kingdom, right? So this one cannot be turned. Oh no, it can. Oh, there we go. Put it right there. Perfect. Go ahead and harvest some more. Ooh. What do we got? Crossbow towers. Gain 50 gold immediately at the start of your next turn. Lose all remaining gold. No. Um. Yeah. Let's see if we can get better. Demolish tile. If you have demolished a building, gain up to 8 wood. Okay, so I can't... I can't directly delete something. I have to get a card to delete. Okay. Um, let's get a farm and housing. I can place more trees. Okay, and we're back to winter. I mean, I can try to connect to another island. And I've connected perfect. Deserters, your followers have captured enemy scouts. Ooh, they claim to have abandoned their post and begged to join your settlement. Welcome them, yes. Build another cabin. 
There you go. All right, and let's check the workers. Three there. Uh, not there, there. One in the tavern. Uh, foragers. Perfect. This is actually pretty nice. This game. It's just like another game. Um, I forgot what's Kingdoms. Kingdoms, which is also a uh, card game based. But this is also a pretty good card game city builder. I really like how how the layout is and the design is. And it's pretty straightforward as well. New Year. Spring. Oh, victory! Yay! Nice. Enemies killed too. Continue. Okay. So, that has been the demo for these Doomed Isles. Overall thoughts? Pretty good game. I'm liking the art style. Um, the controls are pretty easy to understand. Um, I would like to see more of this game. So if you'd like to see more of this game, go check out Steam. These Doomed Isles. They also have a demo that you can play as well to give it a try if you like it or not. But with that, I'm going to leave things here for this demo. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, hit that like button. Subscribe for more awesome content. And I'll see you in the next video. Christophe on Hool, out.